has that girl gotten to this time? Ah, friend. Am I glad to see you. It's Hildegard. She never came back after she went to say a prayer for Tannik. I think I could use your help. After Tannik was injured during the Grand Sermonizer incident, Hilda went to pray for him, and I haven't seen her since. No one has! It's not like Hilda to just disappear without saying a word to me or Astara. She loves temples, but the trouble in Kvetch has made her avoid the big cathedral. Lately, she's been visiting the Great Chapel of Debella in Anvil. I think the rituals soothe her. Will you come to Anvil and help me find Hildegard? I'll meet you at the chapel in Anvil. Hopefully we'll find Hilda curled up and sleeping under Debella's statue. Just be careful when you get to the city. The Pirate Queen hates the Brotherhood almost as much as the Sermonizers do. She likes to commune with the Divines and with nature. And she takes on contracts like the rest of us. So it's not that unusual for her to be away from the Sanctuary. But with the recent attacks against us, I can't help but imagine the worst. Listener said you would come to me. The listener sent me to deliver the litany of blood. I placed it before the Night Mother's shrine. She said the book is meant for the killer who tasted death. While that could refer to anyone in the sanctuary, I believe she intends it for you. A test, perhaps? A message, most certainly. Your brothers and sisters have gazed upon it and seen nothing but blank pages. They found it to be comforting, calming, but totally empty. Perhaps your eyes will see something more. Go and look at the litany of blood. If you see nothing, then you aren't the one I supposed you to be. Assassin, what did you see? So the listener was right. Tell me, what did you see? What a blessing you've received. The Night Mother has chosen you to fulfill the Litany of Blood. Let me ask you this. Did the passages make any sense to you? Of course. The targets must be marked in some way. Easier than I would make it, but who am I to question the listener? It's clear to me that you must decipher the Litany of Blood and kill the targets inscribed on its pages. What else would a book provided by the listener contain? Determine each target and assassinate them. Beyond that, the will of Sithis isn't for you or I to question. Your task won't be easy, but the listener has faith that you will succeed. You've been given a sacred duty. Perform it well and bring honor to the Night Mother and your sanctuary, Assassin. Your brothers and sisters would kill to have been chosen for such a task.
Ilda's not here. Let's ask around and see if any of the worshippers have seen her. Bask in the holiness of this sacred place, and let your troubles fade away. I have seen many such women in this city. I heard the governor wore one at a recent appearance, and now the custom has become a sort of fashion statement. Sorry I cannot be of more assistance to you, Wayfarer. Ah, oh, now I've lost my train of thought. Well, since you've already interrupted the writing process, what can I do for you? A Nord? Here? Is that even possible? I have it on good authority that the typical Nord melts in hot temperatures. Come to think of it, I'm surprised I've never met a Nord. One more thing to do before I finish my memoirs, I suppose? I wonder if I can get a priest to tell me how they keep the fires burning. I hope it's not one of those sacred secrets that they're always going on about. Now that you mention it, I remember a young woman. No, wait. That was a wood elf. Carried around a bouquet of flowers. Talked to them, smelled them. Then she ate them! Really, wood elves are very strange. My, someone is certainly curious about this Nord girl. I wonder who she could be. Your interest in this young Nord woman has certainly piqued my curiosity. Tell me who she is, and I'll tell you what I saw. I saw a young Nord with a flower in her hair talking to Chanter Nemes over by the Akatosh Shrine. I remember because it was so odd. He was whispering in her ear and standing much too close for a man who wasn't her father or her lover. Oh, believe me, I tried. When they were finished, the poor young woman had tears streaming down her face. She ran out of the chapel as the chanter looked on. He had a self-satisfied smile on his face. Do you think he said something improper? No, 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 of course not. A man as pious as Chanter Nemes would never do anything untoward with a young Nord woman. I mean, even the rumor of such an event would be scandalous. Don't worry, though. I won't say a word about your friend and the Chanter. Troll's blood! Can these people gossip? They're worse than the Rat Master's informants, and he pays them to dredge up secrets! Hilda was here, but no one can say where she went or when. Tell me you had better luck, Initiate. A chanter spoke with Hilda? That's not what I wanted to hear. Understand, Hilda isn't like us. She grew up in the wild. The idea of being civilized is really new to her. And she still feels guilty about the wolf that's inside her. It certainly sounds that way to me. It doesn't take much to turn her guilt about what she's done as a wolf into self-loathing. I'm constantly trying to get her to change her feelings on the matter, but her beliefs run deep. Back to where it all began. Back to Skyrim. I'll check at the docks to see if she's tried to secure passage on a ship. You go talk to the caravan master. Hopefully one of us will discover which route she took to go back to where the wolf was born. The next caravan will be ready to leave shortly. If that interests you, find a place nearby to sit for a spell and I'll call you when we're ready. Well, isn't that interesting? You're the second menacing stranger that's asked me about a Nord who may or may not have fled in tears. 
Even if I had seen this young woman, why do you think I'd tell you anything? Right. Her family. The way that young woman was crying, you'd think Molag Bal himself was after her. Or someone like you. If I had helped the Nord, and I'm not saying I did, you'd have to do a lot better than that to get me to tell you anything. Sorry. I protect my customers and their secrets. I've got nothing else to say to you. Caravan Master, please! The young woman with the flower in her hair! She's in terrible danger! Well, look at you! You must be the brother. So you did see Hildegard? Please, you need to tell us where she's gotten to. You're all she talked about other than begging me for transport. She said she was gonna miss you most of all. Word on the docks was that the Silver Dawn was looking for my sister too. We need to know where she went. The young woman wanted a ride to the Yarol Mountains. I sent her on the last wagon, but I can take you there if that would help. We'd appreciate so that. To do. Thank you. The news about the Silver Dawn has made me even more concerned about Hilda's safety. We have to hurry! The Silver Dawn are werewolf hunters. Whatever that chanter said to Hilda has made her run back to the wilderness where I found her. And now a hunting party is on her trail. They're going to kill her initiate! Sorry I gave you the runaround, but I was just trying to protect my passenger. Those Silver Dawn ruffians came around asking about her right before you did. I didn't say a word to them either. Just let me know when you're ready to go to Skyrim. Then hop aboard the wagon and let's get going. I'll get you there as fast as I can without throwing a wheel. Well, at least without throwing more than one. If the Silver Dawn hunts your friend, you better be ready for a fight.